We've got some more people speaking up against what's going on right now. And it looks like Charles Barkley might be the next one on the chopping block because of it. Our time has come. For 300 years, we prepared. We grew stronger. While you rested in your cradle of power. Charles Barkley was a very, very good basketball player back in the day. Now he does a lot of commentary, has a pretty funny show with TNT during the NBA season. Probably one of the better broadcasters when it comes to covering games. I I, I always thought they were all pretty funny, the little group that they have there. Charles Barkley's very, like, he's not very filtered or reserved, which often leads to some pretty funny stuff. There's a long-running bit where he makes fun of the women of San Antonio, calls them big women, big women. And the people in San Antonio have fun with it. He has fun with it. Uh, Not a big deal. Until one woman wrote an article saying enough is enough. And that led to Turner Broadcasting telling him he can't do that anymore. And he doesn't like that, and he's and he's not stopping. I don't know if he's going to stop or not, but he's he's voicing his concerns with it. And I like what he had to say. This isn't the first time he's had controversial opinions, which I don't even think this is controversial. He's had stuff to say about a few other things that I I think he's one of the more real people. Let me go over what's what he said here. So. Charles Barkley reveals Turner made him stop making fun of San Antonio's women. Says he can't have fun anymore. Which is true. You can't. You can't have fun anymore. The bit was pretty funny, too. I I listened to this where he's talking about, like, there's a a four-minute clip here where he's talking about how, uh, like, this, this one woman goes down and interviews, like, five women, and they're all pretty. And he's like, how long it take her to find them? I thought that was pretty funny. But take a look, he trashes cancel culture, and he's right. And he says, I'm not going to apologize. He says, Turner wanted him to apologize. He said, that's not going to happen. They could fire me first. Uh, But he doesn't want to quit because he doesn't want to give people the satisfaction. So he's like, I'm trying to hang around for two more years. Uh, If Charles Barkley, Charles freaking Barkley, feels restricted in what he can say, we're all in trouble. The popular Inside the NBA host appeared on Washington, D.C.'s The Fan on Monday and talked about the Turner higher-ups putting an end to his long-running bit where he makes fun of the women of San Antonio. If you crack a joke the wrong way, Barkley said, they're like, oh, no, 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 you crossed the line. I mean, they won't even let me talk about San Antonio anymore when I'm talking about their big old women down in San Antonio. They're like, Charles, we got one lady who wrote an article. I'm like, first of all, I didn't call anybody personally fat in San Antonio. I was just joking around. We've been having fun with this for probably 10 through 15 years. We go to San Antonio. The people are having a blast with it. The people in San Antonio had t-shirts made. So this is, this is a really good point here. People in San Antonio were having fun with it. They made shirts. Uh, A lot of people get that. It's just a joke. Right? It's a joke. He's having fun. But one person wrote an article about it. One. One person. And this is a problem. You see this all over the place. One person writes an article and that's it. You've seen it happen to people on YouTube as well. Uh, Josiah Rises is a good example. Chrissy Teigen got him demonetized. One person is all it takes. And they will bend the knee. It's it's insane. One person versus what? Thousands that like it? This is cancel culture. And it's all people with the legacy media. She writes an article. Like, legacy media is dying. Everybody's getting laid off, but it does not matter. All they gotta do is write an article. And all of these outlets that are making money, like YouTube and, and everything, they'll, they'll bend the knee down. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, one person. 
It's not how things should go. It should be the it should be the majority of people's opinions, not one single person. But one person gets butt hurt, everything gets canceled. Barkley continued to explain why he's fed up with the current times. You can't even have fun nowadays without these characters trying to get you canceled and things like that. I'm trying to hang on for another couple of years until I'm 60, and then they can kiss my ass. I'm only working until 60. I've already told them that. I'm not working until the day I die. That's just stupid. And if I don't have enough money by now, I'm an idiot anyway. They should fire me anyway. That's all we ever talk about behind the scenes. Yo, man, be careful. Going in this direction, I'm like, yo, man, how can we even have fun anymore? We've had fun all these years, and now all of a sudden, in the last year and a half, everybody is trying to get fired. Everybody is trying to get everybody fired, and it really sucks. Nailed it right there. Nailed it. Because it has been the past year and a half where things have really, really gone to shit. It's funny that he says that. You know, we've been having all of this fun behind the scenes and on air for the past couple of years. And now, over the past year and a half, things have changed. Things are different now. Everybody is running around with their head in the sand or trying to just act like this is no big deal. This is consequence culture. No. It's, it's, this is bullshit. You can't tell any jokes anymore. You can't have any fun anymore without one person getting upset and causing everyone to, ha- to lose fun. The funny thing is that these quotes are from a filtered Barkley. There's a lot here, but what's most disappointing is that Turner would try to stifle Barkley. This is the move. This is the move most companies make, and it stinks that they don't have the guts to deal with some negative feedback and ride out the storm. Like Barkley said, this has been a recurring bit for years with the women of San Antonio getting in on it and roasting Barkley for his size, which is true. They roast him too, because he's not a, he's not a slim chicken either, right? So they roast him also. It's it's fun. It's it's these are some of the things that make sports fun and you can't do this anymore. This is why sports this is one of the reasons besides getting political that things like sports are fun. You can't have rivalry anymore. You can't think make fun of your rivals. You can't poke fun at cities like it's ridiculous. So again, this isn't about Charles Barkley mocking the women of San Antonio. This is about organizations being too afraid of blowback for irrelevant and inconsequential things. When you think about it, why would Barkley even stick around for another two years until he's 60s? This trend of people getting this trend of trying to get people canceled is only going to get worse, not better. He doesn't need this nonsense. It's funny that this is from Sports Illustrated, by the way, and they're agreeing with him, which is crazy. Usually outlets you know, we'll stick with the cancel culture. So it says maybe Sports Illustrated is recognizing that, hey, if we keep going with this, no one's going to watch sports and we'll go out of business. Anyway, Charles Barkley, 100% right here. And it's nice to see more people stepping up and talking about it because we have to stop this. You can't even make little jokes like this anymore. And it's getting really absurd. And it only takes one journalist to bring TNT to their knees and make Charles Barkley stop with that joke. That is sick and sad and kind of concerning. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.